Tiago to me seems like I mean he's a very dangerous guy, but almost like so aggressive that he's almost like a kamikaze guy. Mm -hmm. Like he's do or die, like kill or be killed. He comes in just swinging, throwing hammers. And if he connects, it's dangerous. If he connects, it's bad for everybody. But he might not connect, you know? I mean, it's, it's, that's kind of how he is. He's, he's, a, he's a, a wild card. That's the best way to put it. Like, he mm -hmm. could connect on John. Second fight where he just dominated him. But I think that if he makes a mistake, Tiago could shut the lights out on anybody. That guy swings. He throws like it's the sledgehammer. He yeah. throws he's it. He's not trying to make it to the final round. Like no. He's not pacing himself. There's none of that. That dude, he comes out hard. But he else, then there's John Jones. It's another level. He knows when you're tired, too. He, he, you see him. When he, he senses like any any time where you're trying to catch a break, he senses it. And he starts ramping it up and moving towards you and kicking your legs. Like you see it. He smells blood. He smells blood. He's a fucking straight up killer, man. He just knows. There's a lot of aspects to his game that are very interesting, but he just knows how to feel where a guy is. He knows the distance in terms of like knowing how to feel where a guy is in terms of how far away the guy is from him, because he's the best ever at utilizing his long reach. He also knows where the guy is psychologically. He knows, he knows when guys are physically tired. He knows.